What's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be sharing my experience interviewing at the Brown Alpert Medical School and what benefit there is, if any, to attending an Ivy League medical school. Stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I'm currently applying for medical school and I want to share this entire journey with you all. Make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, new videos coming every week and you're not going to want to miss a beat. I recently had the honor of interviewing at the Brown Alpert Medical School and my gratitude for this experience isn't only because of the prestige nature of going to an Ivy League institution, but I also have extreme family ties to this university and being able to walk on a campus where so much of my family's history has taken place was truly amazing. So my grandfather, who is one of the most inspiring people I know and also my namesake, attended Brown University in the late 40s and early 50s to obtain his doctorate degree in mathematics. However, due to him being a black man attending such a prestigious school in a time where the climate was so racially charged, Brown University actually refused to give my grandfather his diploma. Now, my grandfather never once resented Brown and would actually go on to obtain his PhD a few years later at UCLA. But get this, his daughter, my mother, would go on to obtain her PhD in French studies from Brown University roughly 35 years later. But it even gets better. During this time, she met my father, who was currently an undergraduate student at Brown. This is all to say my family has quite the history at Brown, and I literally wouldn't be here without it. So of course I was particularly excited to visit this institution and I actually was able to visit the exact location where my parents met. This is Soldiers Memorial Gate and this was built to honor the 42 lives lost during the First World War, which included 41 Brown students and one faculty member. This is also where my parents met and I think I have a good idea of how it went down. Ooh wee! Miss Clarissa, I'm gonna tell you, girl, in that dress, you looking about as sweet as a field full of honeysuckle after a spring rain shower. <laughs> How do you do it, girl? Mm. I was also excited for this interview because this would be my first time interviewing at an Ivy League school. Now, Ivy League refers to the eight historic institutions in the Northeast, including Brown, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Dartmouth, University of Pennsylvania, Columbia, and Cornell. These are some of the oldest schools in the whole country and seven of the eight were actually founded before the American Revolution. These schools also pride themselves on being extremely selective with admission and also pride themselves on maintaining academic excellence and so I was very honored for this opportunity. Now one question I had was what impact would going to an Ivy League school have on my medical career? I know just merely having an Ivy League on your resume can draw added attention from employers but I wanted to know if this would directly translate in the medical field. What I began to realize during my visit was the strong connective nature of these schools. What I mean by that is it seemed like if you had an Ivy League education, that education would facilitate more opportunities for you to receive further education at other Ivy League schools. I noticed that not only did a majority of the applicants receive their undergraduate education from an Ivy League school, but once the medical school re revealed the residency programs that their students most frequently match to, these were overwhelmingly associated with an Ivy League institution. With that being said, I don't think merely receiving an Ivy League education will make somebody inherently a better doctor, but I do believe it could open up future opportunities for that person to pursue furthering their education at similarly elite programs. And now with step one being pass fail, the name of your school may carry that much more weight when residency programs are assessing you as a candidate. But like I've stressed in other videos, the school that is best for you will depend much more on how you individually fit with that school and less on just the name of that school. Now in terms of the actual interview day at Brown, it was very similar to other interviews I've experienced. Make sure you check out my medical school interview playlist for more of a detailed explanation of what you can expect during a normal medical school interview but roughly there was an orientation, there was a lunch with medical students, there was a tour of the facilities, and the interview format consisted of two traditional interviews 
and one group activity. Again, make sure you check out my other videos that go over these specific interview formats for more detail. This experience was fulfilling for my entire family, being able to walk through the campus that my grandfather and parents used to all walk through was particularly meaningful and being able to interview at such a prestigious and renowned institution was a dream come true. Medical school is about to start and I can't wait. It's also about that time where I have to start making some difficult choices. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and let me know your thoughts on an Ivy League education in the comments below. Remember, subscribe, tap that bell. New videos come in every week. You're not going to want to miss it. Keep evolving and I'll see you guys next time.